Hello guys and welcome back and today I want to continue talking about the Acer Store and Nimbus Store NAS but before I go any further with this speed test I'd like to apologize for the background hiss throughout this video. I currently have four NAS servers all up and running all around me if you don't believe me there's my network area there lots of network drives all playing around and unfortunately I can't power these down and I have to be in close proximity to this device for direct connectivity. I could have used a longer LAN cable, but I'm gonna stick with what I've got on the setup to apologize for the bounce and the kind of hiss there in the background. I've done a lot of things to try and limit that. But unfortunately, it is moderately inescapable in this environment. Now, what I'm looking at today is to speed test the 2.5 GBE ports on this Acer Store and Nimbus Store NAS. I'm using Nimbus Store 4, but I've installed inside it two 14 TB drives from Seagate, the Seagate Ironwolf NAS series, both of which, of course, are dedicated for NAS use, RAID support, and that Seagate Ironwolf health management there in the background. So again, lots of options, all of those things are open to you, there's the health Ironwolf status, and I've got these in a RAID 1 environment. For those that aren't aware, a RAID 1 environment has two disks, one disk's worth of redundancy, that is to say one disk worth of protection in the event of failure, fault disk 1, as you can see, but that also means that you have two disks being read and written to at exactly the same time, which can be enormously beneficial. Now, the reason we're doing that in a RAID 1 environment in this 4 bay is because what we want to provide is the ability to have good read and write speeds as well as the ability to expand. Now, this is a 4 disk NAS, which means that after these two disks you can add two more disks as you go or utilize one of those bays for SSD caching. But remember that 2.5 GPE will result realistically in up to 250 megabytes per second read and write. So as we're only testing one port, I didn't see the point in exceeding this number of drives. But in theory, this RAID 1 should give us, via that 2.5 GBE port, up to 250 megabits per second read and write. Traditionally, NASes over the network will only give you a maximum of around 100 to 109 megabytes per second. And this effective more than double transmission speed should be hugely beneficial. Now, in order to get these speeds, I'm going to be using AJA. I'll also do a black magic speed test later on, but it's the AJA test that we want to focus on the most. Now, for those that are looking to test a NAS in this way going forward, there's a few steps that I strongly recommend you take. First and foremost, you want to deal with something called MTU. MTU is the ability to modify um, packet being exchanged between you and the NAS. And if you are going to connect to a NAS directly, uh, point to point, then this is something you're going to want to play with. Now, I've got two connections live at the moment. I'm still doing speed tests utilizing the 5GB adapter connected to a QNAP, so we're going to ignore that. But I'm using a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter to communicate with this NAS, thereby removing any bottleneck from this side and putting all of the work on that Acer store. If we go to properties, we're able to configure, and from here, we want to go to the advanced setting and look at something called Jumbo Packet. It may also be called Jumbo Frame, but from here, make sure you've got this value preset. It may be 9000 MTU. There are different ways to describe it. Just make sure this value is at 9000. The reason for that being is this ensures that the communication is optimal between these devices and particularly in the case of this speed test. Likewise, log into your NAS, in this case the Nimbus Store, go into the Network Manager via Settings, then into Network, then into Network Interface, and then the connection you want to use, in the case of this, this 2.5 GBE connection we've established, head down here, click Connect, and select that MTU to 9000. Now, the more astute of you may have noticed just now, there are two connections to this NAS. I've got this Nimbus store connected via the normal 1GBE LAN there, and I've already done previous speed tests earlier before the start of this video, and I got a 105 megabits per second transmission between my device and the NAS over the network. But because we're connecting to the other port, although both of them are 2.5 GBE, the Acer Store has recognized that I'm connected from my end via a greater controller. My network interface port, in this case, 
that 10 GB adapter has opened up the full 2.5 GB or 2500 megabits or 250 megabytes. And this is the one we're going to rely on. But as you can see from the top of the screen, I have opened up both connections to this NAS. So this NAS has now got two accessible areas. The final part of this test is going to be the drive we're going to use because we've already set up a storage area on this NAS. In the case of this NAS, if we go to the storage manager earlier on, we can see those drives and the file manager will show the shared storage areas and all of those test files that we've got installed on this device. You set up a new shared folder available here. You can create a new shared folder and from here you create a new folder that is accessible as a network drive. From there, you then go into the default Acer Store app that you download for free. This is for scanning the local area network and scan for that NAS. Once it's found the NAS, you can connect and open a network drive or map a network drive. You click there, you log into the NAS, and then select which one of those network drives you want to assign and which drive letter you want to give it. Once you've done that, click finish and you'll have the ability to create on your local desktop folders and accessible network drives on the My Computer section to each of those folders you want. The one that we want to focus on is Z. For Z drive, I've created that 2.5 GBE connection to those test files on this NAS and that is where we're going to do our speed test. So, there's AJA. We're going to use the Z drive and we're using a one gigabyte test file and it's a video resolution file. So let's see what we've got. Now, once again, remember, we are recording on a laptop that is also utilizing a lot of system hardware and GPU power screen recording. So once again, I will be doing a normal test on this uh, right now and then I'm gonna do an off-screen camera test after this just to show you guys and I'll show you in a second what the speed was without screen recording software. So straight away we are getting somewhere in the region of 215 to 220 megabytes per second right. Now read will always be slightly different. Now a lot of that is because the test machine that I'm utilizing today, if we go back into it, it's a Windows 10 machine but I am using, one could argue, a rather modest internal hard drive on this machine. These are the specifications of the machine I'm utilizing. And indeed the SSD inside is quite a low quality SSD. We can see those megabytes per second readings changing ever so slightly there. And we'll let that run just a little bit further. Um, now we're going to switch from this and make our way into the popular software, Black Magic. From Black Magic, we go into the settings. We're going to do a one gig test file. And remember, Blackmagic is a very different beast when it comes to testing. There's our Z drive. We're going to click OK and begin the test. Straight away, we've hit that 250, 260 with absolutely no hesitation there at all. There was a slight dip there, I think, at the end of 195, but we're going to consistently get those exaggerated speeds. Now, it's worth mentioning, just like 1GBE, that the figures aren't exact. You're seeing their speeds in excess of 255 to 260 megabytes per second. The reason for this being is because this file, uh, this network connection isn't precise. It's worked out in kilobits and megabits, not bytes, and there's always wiggle room. The result is that we're seeing these increased speeds, but realistically, we aren't going to get speeds greater than that of 250 megabits per uh, megabytes per second. And that has been that test there. Now, what I'm going to do now is leave this on my screen here, but I'm going to cancel the screen recording while you're watching it right now. And hopefully on screen you're now watching the AJA tests that featured um, off-screen recording, thereby removing any bottleneck being created by my screen recording software. Now, when you're watching that, that's not me watching it live during the off-screen recording but I'm going to assume that we hit in AJA that 250 quite easily, if not pretty close. We're not going to retest Black Magic, of course, because it's not a vast amount of point on that, but hopefully this will give you some indication about the impact 
that off screen, uh, the, the screen recording software and capture does to the CPU and the GPU and therefore the results you get on speed test. So always bear that in mind with your speed tests with regard to um, screen recordings and network speed testing. But I'm going to return now to the main screen that we we're testing on earlier on. And that has been the speed test of the 2.5 GBE port on that Acer Storm NAS. We're hoping to do link aggregation tests very soon. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, I do apologize for the background noise and hiss throughout this video. It's been very hard to control the noise in the background. And we will be doing continued testing of not only this Nimbus store, but other um, over 1 GBE network devices that have been released throughout this year. We've seen some great solutions for getting out of the now infamous bottleneck of 1 GBE and making strides towards 2.5, 5 and 10 gigabit ethernet speeds very easily with our upgrading PCIe slots. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheerio.